friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Ditly House Plans. In today's video, we are doing a flip through of March in my plum paper vertical columns. So let's take a look. Alrighty friends, wow, the first quarter of the year has flown by. March is done, we're almost done with April. I think I'm filming this on the 27th of April. So let's take a look at what I did in March. So we have this green index page. And so I just added this sweet little stick babe from the Sick Babe Essentials. She's from Happy Planner. March is a big birthday month for me, my mom and my nephew. So I just thought I'd put a little birthday girl there. And then let's just flip right on over to the highlights page. Alrighty, so for my highlights and for my monthly spread, you'll see I used a Planner Kate kit. It's kit 411 and it's called Spring Meadows. So I added this sweet little quote here. You got this. This is also from Planner Kate. And then everything here is from the kit, except for these check boxes are from Saya Planning. And then these little doodles here, these icons, this is Nicole Hutch Designs, as is this, and then this one's Planner Kate. So March, as I mentioned, we celebrated my birthday, my mom, and my nephew. Uh, I went to dinner with my family for my birthday. I had a lot of work meetings going on, and then sort of the highlight of the month was a mother-daughter dance with the girls at their high school. So it was really fun. I turned double nickels, as I call it, so I'm now a 55-year-old. It was a bit of a milestone for me. Um, in terms of reading, I finished the book after you, finally. And then I started a book called The Friend Zone. Super quick read. I've already finished that one, believe it or not. And it was really cute. So that's what I was doing there in terms of reading. In terms of listening, I listened to The Thing About Pam. That was the podcast that I listened to, which has been made into a mini series starring Renee Zellweger. So that's kind of fun. And then I was listening to some podcasts, some episodes from Criminal. Um, in terms of watching TV, or Hulu, I should say, Abbott Elementary, Home Economics, those are my two favorite sitcoms right now. I love those shows. The Gilded Age, I think that's done. Same with Pivoting and then Drive to Survive, the uh, latest season in the Netflix Formula One series. I binged that. No notes here for the month of March. And then again, like I said, the monthly spread is also that same Planner Kate kit, 411 Spring Meadows. Everything here came from the kit in terms of these boxes and the date dots. I loved this dark kind of, it's not, I don't think it's black. Maybe it's a really dark, dark brown. Um, but this is also a Planner Kate arrow here. These scripts, these holiday scripts, these are actually from Fern Creek stickers. I love these in the monthly spread. I use them all the time. And then this cupcake here for my birthday. That is from Erin Condren, but the rest of it is from the kit. My nephew turned 21, so we had a couple of milestones uh, for both of us. So that is the monthly view. Going into week one, this is Orange Umbrella Co. Kit 115. It's called Poppy Impressions. I loved this bold poppy print. It was super cute. I did the scalloped boxes instead of the like decorative boxes and I really love how cute and whimsical they are. So just kind of taking a look, a lot of this did come from the kit. However, I have the to-dos here from Fern Creek Stickers. All of these little scripts, bank, Costco, Safeway, commissary, those are from Phoenix Plans along with my time stickers. This staff meeting is from Planner Kate. And then looking over here at the sidebar, the habit tracker is Orange Umbrella Co., but my scripts here, these are from Saya Planning. And then let's see, what else do I have here? The film, this script is from Saya Planning, but this little icon here is from Big Elephant Plans. So is this recycle icon. I use that a lot from Big Elephant Plans. And then this hair appointment, this is a Planner Kate, I believe, like a leftover from a kit. So this was really, really fun. I loved how this came out. Emma went on her big senior retreat this week and it was so, it was really interesting how it was really hard for Sophie and I to be home without her. We really missed her. And I was like, oh, this is what it's going to feel like when she goes to college. So it was a busy week for me though. So I was glad I was distracted with that. 
So turning into week two, this was a super fun week. If you didn't catch this plan with me, take a look. I'll put a link in here. Go back and check it out. So my friend Megan from Megan B Plans It All, we did a kit swap. And so I sent her basically a mystery kit. She sent me a mystery kit and we had to figure out how to plan with it without even knowing what we were going to get. And so this darling, darling kit, totally me, like Megan totally nailed it. This is from Lemon and Honey Studio. It's the first time I'd ever planned with any of their kits. I didn't even know of their shop. And so I'm really excited to have been introduced. I've since ordered some monthly kits from that shop. Really, really cute. I've got a couple of scripts here and my time stickers from Phoenix Plans. These scripts, of course, are from Saya Planning, as is this Otis Meds. I've been using this um, since this week forward. So a lot going on. I had to fly out of town for work. Uh, so it was kind of busy. This little staff meeting, this is from Ever Changing Plans. I love that sheet. And all of these cute little characters she sent me as well came from different shops. So I thought that was really fun and a, and a really fun challenge for me to kind of add them in. They're so cute. So we had family dinner on Sunday. I thought that one was a cute little guy. This little script here is from Saya Planning. And then... This happy birthday is from Planner Kate. It's like a leftover from a monthly spread. I love this. Everything blooms in its own time. That's so me. Like I, I was just telling my friend Michelle that I'm kind of a late bloomer. Like I come to things a little late in life, but I loved this. I just thought it was so beautiful. I love the little stitch boxes. Really, really sweet kit and just so fun to do that surprise exchange with my friend Megan. So if you're not already following her on Instagram or her channel on YouTube, please make sure you check her out. You can find links to her channel on my the homepage of my channel as well. Okay, so the next week, this is week three. This is Fern Creek Stickers, kit 110, the luckiest. I chose this kit because we had St. Patrick's Day in this week. So lots of things from the kit. These are from, these scripts here, the to-do is from Fern Creek Stickers. It's just a sheet that I bought. These two mixed scripts here are from Nicole Hutch Designs. Again, that Otis's Meds is from Say a Planning. And then these little scripts here and here, Commissary, that is from... Phoenix Plans and more Saya planning scripts here. This little spring is in the air. This came from, I believe this came from a Christian Designs book that I got from Michaels. Um, I love that. I thought it looked cute against this sort of cherry blossom. I just kind of wanted to add something to that box, but I loved this mix of the cherry blossoms and the clovers. I thought it was perfect for March week. This little Steve is from Christian Designs. So is this Family Time. Um, the staff meeting again, this was that same one from Ever Changing Plans, just in a green color. So I tried to fill in with as many of the fun boxes as I could. I had lots of meetings. So my big council on legislation meeting was on the Friday. I had some pre-meetings on Thursday. So again, another super busy week. This little Paul icon, this one I believe is from Saya Planning, that little one there. So I loved how this turned out. I love green and pink, <laughs> just as much as I love navy and pink, I think. Oh, and then these little gold circles here highlighting work events. These are from Erin Condren. So that's my St. Patty's week spread. And then flipping to my birthday week. Well, actually, it was crazy the way this worked out because my mom's birthday was in this week, as well as mine, as well as my nephew. So we all landed in the same week. <laughs> kind of crazy. So this kit is from Orange Umbrella Co., it's kit number 111, and it's called Birthday Bash. So a lot of this is all from the kit. These scripts, again, say a planning, say a planning. And this to do here is also from say a planning. More scripts from Phoenix Plans. The edit and the upload is also from say a planning. Again, I went with the cute little scallop boxes because I knew I had a lot of fun things for this week that I wanted to use them for. So like my birthdays, we had a meet a parent or grandparent for lunch day at the girls school. So my mom actually, no, Scott and I went this year, the last year that they had had it, my mom and I went, but Scott was able to come. So Scott and I met the girls, we brought them lunch and we kind of sat all together with their, their friends and their parents. It was really fun. I've got some family time in here. That all came from the kit. These time stickers, of course, are tried and true from Phoenix Plans. And then this was the first week 
that I decided to start tracking my rings here instead of my mills. So these little colored dots I filled in with from my clean color dot pen collection. And it's kind of perfect because the red, the green, and the blue look a lot like the rings on my watch. So I just kind of started tracking that. I thought it was kind of interesting. I missed the day here. But yeah, so this was really a fun week. More scripts from Say a Planning, if I didn't already mention that. And again, this happy birthday are leftovers from monthly kits from Planner Kate. So really fun week. I loved this kit. I thought it was really sweet. For birthday especially since like i said i think of 55 as a milestone birthday so i wanted something kind of sparkly and fun so this gold and pink was really perfect for me okay so flipping into the last week of march this is a kit from hand can plan it's called wildflowers i've had it for a little while in my collection of sticker kits and i was so excited to finally use it i just think it's adorable again i love navy and pink we've got habits again from say a planning more scripts from say a planning um again this recycle sticker from big elephant plans this staff meeting is again from Ever Changing Plans. And then this holiday script here is from Planner Kate. This one here, this mixed script is Nicole Hutch Designs. Another script from Phoenix Plans, both the Costco and Commissary. So yeah, this was, this was really cute. Oh, and then this is also from Big Elephant Plans, this little icon here. So very fun week. This was, um, we had a college reception for one of the schools that Emma had applied to here in town. So then going into, I have some notes here from the month and then going here, this is my clean mama page. I went ahead and used washi from that same planner cake kit, Spring Meadows that I used in the monthly and then i also have some planner cake boxes here and then all of my scripts of course are from phoenix plans so i again always really good with the daily and weekly tasks march was super busy uh, with all of the meetings i had to go out of town and then the following week i had two big meeting days here in town so didn't get as much overall spring cleaning done as i would like to do but that doesn't mean it won't happen later on so but i did keep up with like the rotating I did a couple of the monthlies, but not so great in that, honestly, friends. So that is sort of the monthly view in my catch-all planner. And then let's take a look at how my social media planner looks. Okay, so here we are. This is an Erin Condren monthly that I use for my social media planner. This is the March index page. It says, make yourself and your care a priority, something we should all remember to do, something I'm not that great with. <laughs> But what I did here was I used an Orange Umbrella Co. monthly kit. This was one that I had for a while. I loved it. This green, because there was green in the kit, really didn't bother me that it kind of shows through here. And I just didn't feel like whiting it all out. So I just kind of looked beyond that. All of these stickers came from the kit. I did not do very well with posting on Instagram. Um, friends, you know, it was super busy for me having just looked at what my month was like. So didn't get a lot posted in terms of Instagram, but I did get my videos up and posted. I did reach a thousand subs on my YouTube channel. Thank you friends for that um, on the 24th. So that was like right before my birthday. So that was really, really exciting. I appreciate that. I appreciate all the friendship and support that I found through this channel. So looking at how I kind of set up the dashboard pages again another strip of wide washi from that same kit from orange umbrella co this social media script is from say a planning the film edit upload these scripts are from fern creek stickers and then i just kind of do a little pen grid with the videos that i plan to do and then i just check it off as i do each task and then when they went live over here i've been using this space for each of the monthly kits that i'm planning to use so Spring Meadows was what I used in my Plum Paper and then my Happy Planner Budget Book. I used the Birthday Bash Kit from Orange Umbrella Co. And then my social media is um, Orange Umbrella Co. This kit right here. And then my Clean Mama page was Washi from the Planner Kate Kit 411 Spring Meadows. And then here I wrote in my weekly kits. I am missing week two here because that was my surprise kit from my friend Megan, so I'll have to write that in, go back and finish that out. And then I just use the rest of the 
lined pages to do my notes, like planning out the next month, what I'm doing in each of the weeks, and then just kind of notes on my videos that I'm filming, talking points, or just trying to remember what kits I used. And then there were just a few extra leftover pages. So that's pretty much it for my social media. I love just really simple friends. And then these stickers, because I use removable stickers, if I have to move something around, it's easy to peel it off and restick it somewhere else. But this has just been really a simple, nice way for me to keep things on track with my social media. So yeah, that's it, friends. That's my social media. And then, of course, we took a look at my plum paper. So that was March in a nutshell. Alrighty, friends, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.